Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so, you- so your boy did it. And it's not just one Amethyst board I'm bringing to you guys today. Cause a lot of people are showing you that. And sure, you can't see all the players unless you see six different YouTubers who went through all the options already and gave a comparison. But hopefully I can choose somebody that everybody else hasn't chosen. <coughs> Got the house. And I will be able to show you guys something else so that way you guys can make a decision on what you want. And I'm going to give you my little thought process on how I came up with the choice that I came up with. Alright. So... The options that you see here on the board are Jerry Stackhouse, Sean Marion, Dennis Johnson, Steve Francis, and Jim Jackson. Now, let's see what their potential strengths and weaknesses are before I make my choice. Jerry Stackhouse, I believe, was around 6'4", 6'5". He was a shooting guard. He was averaging almost 30 points back in the 90s. He was a good player. He played with Michael Jordan at one point, I believe, on the Wizards. I'm not, actually, don't quote me on that part. But Jerry Stackhouse, he's a strong choice. My team needs a shooting guard, even though we we currently have Quentin Richardson and J.J. Redick for outside shooting. We need like that all-around shooting guard who can do everything I need. And if he's going to be an amethyst player, I'm pretty sure they're going to boost up his stats to unrealistic proportions. So maybe he'll be able to replace him as a shooter as well. The other options we have here are Sean Marion, six foot seven. He was he can guard any position from the probably all five inside the video games, but in real life he can guard about the one to four. He did play four successfully in Phoenix, so we'll see what happens. Although he's primarily a three. And as an amethyst, like I said, stats boosted up. He'll probably be faster. He'll probably be even more defensive than ever. The only downside is his height, but he seems to be an all-around choice. Then we have Dennis Johnson, uh, point guard back for the Boston Celtics. Not too tall, nothing too special about him. He's amethyst, so who knows what his stats are going to look like. I'm sure he's going to be strong defensively on the wing, but that's not what I'm really looking for. I don't need a replacement because I have Stephen Curry. And I have a backup of uh, Robert Pack who's pretty decent. He's like the opposite of Stephen Curry. And also got Jay Williams just in case, plus a bunch of other Emerald players. Anyway, next is Steve Franchise. This guy was the man back in Houston. And they had the Houston version of him here, so which means that he's going to be able to dunk, he's going to be able to shoot, rebound, steal. He's going to be super fast. What more can you really want? But the problem again is I have Stephen Curry and Robert Pack. I don't know where this guy would get burned, even though he is a strong choice. But we're living in a point guard era. There's too many good point guards to choose from. And I already know when I get Magic and Penny eventually, I'm, he's never going to see the light of day. At least as long as he's not like a third stringer. Anyway, after that, we have Jim Jackson. I believe he's about 6'6". He was a small forward. He had a few good days with the Mavs. I don't know what to expect from a player like him. And he is tempting. But I'm going to stick away from him. I'm going to go with my man, Sean, the Matrix, Marion. And this is the moment of truth. I get... John Marion Amethyst! And don't worry, I'm gonna show you the stats of Sean Marion as well as who I choose from the diamond board at the end. I'm gonna go to my collection so that way maybe you guys can use that information to better choose the right player for you when you make it to this point if you haven't been there already. The first option we have is Jerry Lucas, a six foot eight power forward from Philadelphia. He was a good player in real life. He's a historically good player, but the problem is inside this game, when you go with a short player, you're kind of limiting yourself. Although, because we're talking about diamond players here, like 94 to 96 overall, they're going to boost these stats up so high, Jerry Lucas will probably be able to make hook shot threes. Then we got the a center, the original NBA superstar, George Glasses Wearing Mikan. This guy was the man back in the day. He is a good choice for a center, regardless of whether he's diamond or not. Then we got Tony Parker. Honestly, I didn't even think Tony Parker would choose Tony Parker. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a good player. I did use him for a stretch inside of 2K14 and whatnot, but that's until I got anybody else. He's gonna be a good player, a strong mid-range. He's gonna be the uh, he's gonna be extremely fast. He's going to look like Tony Parker in his super prime, but I still do not want him over Stephen Curry. I'm sorry. Then we got David Thompson. Some people have him at 6'4", some people have him at 6'5". He was a shooting guard slash small forward. I could use him because I didn't choose Jerry Stackhouse, and I'm currently using Steve Smith 
a little combination of Steve Smith and Latrell Sprewell, Quentin Richardson, uh, JJ Reddick, and I do need that solid too. But I just, I just can't commit to a guy like that. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to keep him that long, especially when eventually I'm gonna get Michael Jordan to somebody. So you know, how long is that supposed to last? Or like a, a, a paint or amethyst Paul George someday, something. Then we got Ben Wallace. We all know about Ben Wallace. His stats are going to be like 98 everything on the defensive side of the ball. I'm talking blocks, steals, po uh, post defense. I'm talking about pick and roll switching, defensive IQ, everything. His speed's probably going to be extremely high for a center, like 75 or something ridiculous like that. Because he's only six foot, what, eight, six foot nine at tallest, depending on if you count the afro. This guy will lock down the paint. They might give him a decent hook shot around 75, but he's a diamond player, so who knows what to expect? Who knows? But I'm sure he will be the best defensive player you have seen so far. I guarantee that. And then we got Gil Goodrich from back in the day with Jerry West and Will Chamberlain's Lakers. This guy was a shooter back then before they had a three-point line, and he was just draining them like nothing. If his three-point rating is less than a 95 across the board, I will be upset personally. If you want to get Reggie Miller because you want to shoot threes inside this game, this is the closest you're going to get. This guy will knock down everything you've ever seen, even things you haven't seen. This guy is a sharpshooter extraordinaire. So if that's your play style, go with him. I've given you guys the, the, the only facts I can give you without choosing the players, but I'm going to give you my choice now. I'm going to go with Diamond George Mikan. And here's the culmination of all of those hours and, and that final torturous game of domination. I finally got Diamond George Mikan. And when I tell you that final game was just the worst, absolute horrible, I truly believe this is why Guantanamo Bay got shut down. They were forcing the prisoners to play that game on repeat. Anyway, y'all know I love defense, but when you come to the levels of 90 and above, that's when anybody can play defense. This guy has a 96 overall defensive rating. Strong hook shot, good post control for a small forward, a decent three-point shot and mid-range shot. Whoa, who saw that coming? I like that I can play him at multiple positions because his boxing out and rebounding is very strong as well as his stealing. His thing is at 96, y'all. 96. Does that even make sense? I can play him at any position. His blocking is high. He's fast. Like, what else do I need? And he's not going to come out the game because he got a 98 stamina. Look at that reaction time and that offensive and defensive. Cause, oh my goodness. Now it's time for George Mike and the one y'all all really want to see. 95 overall, 94 offensive overall, and a defensive overall of 96. I made the right choice. Ben Wallace can't get but much higher. Strong hook shot and fadeaway. That's oh my this oh my goodness, y'all. 85 mid-range at 6'10. A 75 three-point shot at 6'10. We have finally achieved that part of the game where the players become unrealistic in my favor. 80 free throw with a high drawing foul rate rating. Are you kidding me? 90s in defensive and offensive rebounding and boxing out 94 block. 65 steal for a center. This is this is almost like I'm playing with Superman. It doesn't even make sense anymore. What defensive help uh, help defensive IQ is 97. Pick and roll 89. On ball is at 80. On ball 87. I'm gonna play him at point guard. Speed is 70. He really could play point guard. He's faster than Grievous Vasquez. Strength is at 90. He's not coming out the game because he has a 98 overall stamina. I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Just, just look forward to some games coming up in the future. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.